Good morning, everyone. Today we're just embarking from the cruise ship to go to Lisbon, Portugal. You've never been. Well, let's go see what they have for us. First stop on our tour is this uh, lovely bit of street art that looks like a fox. It's made completely out of garbage. Lisboa, nosso garbage. We're visiting an old monastery at the moment. I'm, wow, I mean, it's very beautiful. It looks like it. What was this built out of? Limestone. Limestone, yeah. So I'm chilling right now in one of Lisbo's famous trams. You've probably seen it in the adverts for Lisbon itself. These things have been going around for a century now as a form of public transportation. And the one fun thing you gotta know about these really cool trams is in the front, they have these chairs. Now you might not think much about them. They're just standard chairs to sit in. However, what you might be surprised to find is a whole lot of sand. Why is there sand? Well, it's actually, it might frighten you, it's the last ditch effort to slow down the tram during inclement weather. If it's really wet, it's slipping, just grab some sand, throw it on the tram. I think at that point I'm gonna be screaming, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but there you go, that's your fun fact of the day. I just didn't know that. We've now made it to the Tower of Belém, where I'm going to be trying my Pastel de Belém, which is a type of Pastel de Nata that you can only get in this specific area of Lisbon. Let's try it out. It's so crispy. I love this so much, you know. I'm gonna have to ask for a nada. Wow. Oh. Thank you. What a beautiful cloudy day. The next place our local guides have brought us to is the Monument of the Discovery, basically representing all of the discoveries that Portugal has made over the last like centuries, you know, different countries that no one knew existed except the countries that were there. This is a pavement that we're going to see in Rio as well. Why? All because over it's... Rio? You ha... <laughs> because it was a Portuguese colony. Ah, I still don't get it. Hello, Ellie. We're having a great tour of Lisbon at the moment. Where, uh, where are we? We are at the Monument of Discovery. What have we discovered here? That there is a tile thing with a lot of countries in it. Well, we're good at discovering. You, you can see over here, whoop! It's a map of the world and everything that's, you know, Portugal discovered. I'm so good with words. Colonialize it. Well, you are, you know. There's a big old monument back there representing all the explorers and all the discoverers. It's a sword, which is, I guess, how they bring Christianity to places. <laughs> -da -da -da, learning about culture. And over here, there's another monastery. This place is so pretty. We were also told that this stuff right here, this uh, black and white, is a mixture of limestone and another type of rock. <laughs> so we're going to be seeing more of this pattern in Rio because Portuguese people love patterns. Your visit to Lisbon is not complete without dancing on the Lisbon Joker stairs. Claudia, where have you taken us? We are in Baixada, Embassy. Mm -hmm. It's like a, it was a former palace, now it's a shopping mall. Vintage, uh, shops. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can tell it looks used to be a palace. Because this place is crazy beautiful. So many floors, and then loads of stores. Floors, stores. Wow. I mean, this is lavish. After climbing one too many hills, oh boy, legs are just killing me. We've now made it to the big viewpoint of the entire city. Ellie, what's a fun fact about this view? That you burn a lot of calories. That's you... right. It's, 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 we're up on a hill. It takes a while to get up here. You can actually tell there's, there's a fort right over that way. We got a little cathedral, we got the bay, and then uh, look at that sky. Where have we made it to at this point in our lives? The pink street. Why is it called that? Because everything's pink. Wow. It's pink. pink. <laughs> I knew that one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, I guess it's worth a visit if you're in the area. The street is pink. It makes for a good Instagram if you come during the daytime. We're currently here during the night, so maybe not the best, but it's all pink. Except for your face, I guess. <laughs> how did they know how long I've spent holding hands? That's... Don't come for me like that. That's not true. Also, I stare at the sea a lot, sir. Ellie, it's just like home. Wait. Wait. That is my home. I consider Britain my home now. Yeah, for me as well. 
Oh, huh? Well, this is my home then. British bar. Just the bar. It looks like a real British... There's no map of the underground, so it doesn't sound like a really touristy place. So we've now been taken to the Timeout Market, a massive food court here in Lisbon. As you can see from the branding there, so many different restaurants and things to eat at. I hope we get to eat here, because that'd be nice. What's your take on the Lisbon Timeout Market? Cake. Cake. Oh. I mean, that's a good take. That's a hot take on cake. Oh, a little mini apple pie. In this timeout market we decided to stay in, we got what the Portuguese refer to as the fish of the garden, which is basically just a green bean tempura. Not too bad. It's a very popular thing in Lisboa. And it's very hot. It's very tasty. We've now entered a little place in which we can get some cherry brandy. Served for us in a shot glass made out of chocolate. So when you finish with a little shot, let's have another crotch. Tasty. That's the shot glass. Let's get some brandy. I did promise we weren't going to have alcohol, but this is my only exception. It's cultural. One last thing we're going to do in the market today is we're going to try this shot of cherry brandy in a little shot glass made out of chocolate. Oh my god. There's like a chocolate flavored cherry. Mmm. That was delicious. At long last, we've made it back to the ship. At long last, we've made it back to the ship. Time to get some dinner, leave Lisboa behind, and in a couple days we'll be in Funchal, a place I didn't hear about until this very trip. Very excited, very hungry. Let's go on board. Well, we're back in the cabin, and we're up for a night of uh, maybe some choppy seas. I'm going to try and sleep on my back. Oh, I can feel it. Oh there we go. Oh my god, oh my god. It's moving so much. Well, life on a boat. Oh boy, I'm shaking the camera. Life on a ship, sometimes. It's rocky. It's a rocky horror picture show. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's trip from Lisboa. Tomorrow, we are going to have a fun time on board. I think we're getting massages. I think massages. we should we should slap forward into that. Well, it is now our day at sea, and today, we're scheduled to get a massage, a Balinese massage. This is kind of crazy. I'm, I'm very excited to relax I after the gym. I genuinely thought you said Bolognese massage. No, oh, like, let's get a Bolognese massage. <laughs> like, Cover me in spaghetti. <laughs> That'd be just you. Spaghetti Bolognese no. massage. At least spaghetti Bolognese. No. Also, not as choppy as it was yesterday. So that's nice. Now that we're in the middle of the ocean. So I'm now in my private room here for my massage. This is honestly just crazy. I just, just want to throw that out there. Like this is really lovely and something I'm not used to getting to experience. And I'm like, wow, I can't believe it's so standard. It's not. This is beautiful. Also, I'm going to go in the space pod. And more interestingly for me, look at this. It's just the, the experience that you can't really get anywhere else. But you can see the ocean just passing by on the other side of our massage room. I've gotten a couple massages in my life in different places where it makes sense to get them. And always, I don't know how to film them because I'm kind of like, well, now I'm nude. I have to get on uh, this pair of underwear. I've been working out, but I don't think I'm working out that much. Time for some afternoon tea. Also this hole, right, is the sea. Ellie and I have now wound up in the Amatista Lounge for afternoon tea. We're, we're like back in England. I was just thinking, I really miss tea. And now I get my own afternoon tea with some live music. All right. That Ellie has never seen the Casey Frey video that I was referencing when I went, or, or it's like, I, I can't even do it. I can't do it. How does he? <laughs> I'm not even sure what you're doing there. That, it's like a, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, it's just like, Except you, you're not wearing a shirt. I don't know what's happening there. I can't do it, but the Casey Frey video, I think it's the most viral video of 2019. Somehow Ellie has not seen it. He has a shirt like this. Uh, so we had a fun night tonight. We just had standard dinner. Uh, we're all exhausted after the gym. I'm so a pooped. Uh, and so tomorrow we're going to Funchal, which is an island off of Africa owned by Portugal. So I hope you enjoy watching that. If you enjoyed watching this, give me a big old thumb. We got all the videos over here. Subscribe and whatnot. I love you so much. Uh, and thank you very much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.